Oh, good morning, y'all. And how are you on this fine morning? Oh. Well, last night was a little rougher than normal, probably because I'm on an incline, so. Not the best, uh, not the best cat nap I've gotten in my truck, but meh. It's all right. That's what they, that's what they make caffeine for, right? So I'm actually supposed to be dropping this thing off for uh, for maintenance. I'm actually supposed to do it in half an hour, and I don't think that's gonna happen because I am over an hour away from where I'm supposed to drop it off. I ain't seen hide nor hair of nobody. So, hey, it is what it is. It's just routine maintenance that can be rescheduled. I'm not real worried about it. Make the donuts while you can, right? I always find it strange when I end up in places where I, 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 I'm looking at houses that are, uh, well, run down, I'll say nicely. It's the, you know, the houses are, you know, it's, they're not quite derelict, but, you know, they're not, they're, they're, they're not in the best case. Like, if you drove through, you might think about locking your doors maybe you know unless of course you you know built different uh but the thing that always boggles my mind is you know your house looks like it'll fall down if i piss on it but you got this huge shiny fucking limited edition super duty truck in the driveway like You know, you could have got something a little less expensive for your truck and you could have made your house look better. You know? I don't know. Just find it funny. I will say this though, early mornings, early mornings tend to be the best. It hasn't gotten hot yet. I can have my windows open. I hear the birdie singing. I'm not yet having to deal with the public en masse. I like the quiet. I really do enjoy the quiet. So I started doing something. I um, started doing something fun. You may have noticed the the KWF videos on uh, on my channel. So I I have always you know I, I've been a fan of pro wrestling for a long time. Um, and one of the things that I honestly I truly love doing is uh, is announcing. I, I I love I love both. I love play by play. I also love color commentary. If I had to, uh, you know, if I had to pick one I liked doing more, I probably prefer doing color. But uh, you know, play by play, I really I like doing that too. And you know, play by play is not the easiest uh, you know uh, form of commentary to do. And a lot of respect for the guys who can do it well. But. Um, you know, I I don't I I wouldn't I don't know how good I am at it. I mean, I uh, I, I really enjoy doing it. You know, so I and I don't have a lot of opportunities to scratch that itch in my day to day life, obviously. So I decided to you know uh, my my wrestling game. I turned the announcers off because uh, the announcing on a wrestling game is very. 
generic. It's not great. It's not like watching an actual show. Um, and decided that I was going to do, do my own commentary. Um, you know, kind of craft my own storylines that way. And I have a lot of fun with it. I really do. But, uh, and then, you know, in an effort to build up my, my Twitch following, because Twitch is something new for me, I, uh, I decided that I'm no longer going to post, <clears throat> like, uh, like, pay-per-view events, you know, where, where the title's on the line, on my YouTube. Now... Uh, I, I started I, I started doing this like on my on my YouTube shows I will be promoting you know and telling everybody when my next Twitch event is going to be and I will live stream on Twitch the uh, the big event shows and uh, and I do the commentary there you know um, so, and, and, you know, and it's fun. And, like, this last, you know, I I, I, I only managed to post uh, one, one YouTube show where I was promoting the upcoming, um, promoting my first Twitch, uh, Twitch stream because, uh, I'll, you know, I'm trying to work all this around a work schedule that's pretty crazy. So, you know, that being said, I, uh, I did do my first Twitch stream and, uh, you know, full disclosure, it is still on replay if you did want to go watch it over at, on my Twitch channel. My twi Twitch channel is, uh, is Ken Carnage, you know, Carnage with a K. Ken, obviously, with a K. Um, <laughs> um, so... But, you know, and I did that, and I did have, I, I you know, admittedly, it, you know, you, you want to have, you want to have lots of people watch. I didn't have lots of people watch. I had one guy, or one person, I should say. I don't know their gender. Um, I had one person watch, and, but they watched the entire show. Um, so I, I was happy to see that. I'm hoping to see it grow. Um, you know, and I would love it if you guys would, uh, uh, w would check that out as well, but in, in either case, I, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I am having fun with it, which, you know, is, you do these things, you do these things first and foremost for fun, because, you know, like, the chances of somebody actually paying you to do the things you really enjoy, it's not that high, you know, um, it, it's, it's just not, you know, um, I was somebody who wanted to do a lot of things, um, you know, as a young person. And a lot of those things, it's hard to say that they weren't in the cards for me because the truth of the matter is, if I'm being honest with myself, maybe I could have had some of those things, but it would have required choices um, and certain, certain sacrifices that I was not willing to, well, you know, that I was not willing to give up. Um, you know, for instance, I, I, for a time I was training to be a professional wrestler. I was, I was doing training for that. I was going to school. Um, I had a, I had, I had a young family at the time. Could I justify going and getting into the ring and potentially getting hurt for pennies when I had a family to take care of? You know? No, I really, I really couldn't justify it. You know? Now, maybe if I'd stuck with it, something different would have happened. But it was a huge, it was a huge risk. I could not risk ending up in, you know, um, invalid is not the word I'm looking for. I could not risk um, ending up a burden on my family. I'm supposed to be their provider and their protector. 
So I I let that go, you know. Um, and on one hand, that sucks. But on the other hand, I you know I have I have a wonderful family. I love them very much. I'm very proud of them. I've got three great kids, um, and it just you know we make the decisions we make and our life gets shaped by it and I don't regret any of those decisions you know I'm, I'm 35 years old at this point I am you know and I, I, I'm already not the man I was 10 years ago uh, from a physical standpoint you know I'm I'm still big I'm still strong my, my lungs are uh, my, my, my lungs suck this probably doesn't help but you know it's it's just one of those things with each passing year the uh, the chances of stepping into the ring and doing anything on that front diminish you know and who knows may, may, you know maybe when my kids are grown i will go do something in an you know in an indie show and have fun with that and that could be great i could die but <laughs> um but you know it just it is what it is but um so yeah the um the the announcing is just a small way for me to kind of scratch scratch that itch so to speak and you know try and have a good time while doing it um i am actually um hoping by uh by that by this fall i will uh, i'll have enough i'll have enough bread squirreled away where I can justify taking a little bit of it uh, to publish my book. Um, you know, I, I've written I've written my first book. I just have um, I actually finished it. God, I, I I finished it over a year ago. I finished it finished it quite a while ago. Um, I was in talks with a publisher, but. You know, they they wanted a lot of money. And at, at that particular point in time, you know, I could not justify putting out that kind of money with no guarantee of return. You know, it just... Now, I, I have since found a cheaper option for publication um now the downside to that is that if it does well with the cheaper option i'll probably make less money off of it than i would have with the more expensive option but like you gotta weigh things out and you know it, it if the book were to do very well and i wanted to go with a different publisher for volume two because I, I am working on volume two um, I mean I could do that but I really just got to to a certain extent play it by ear it does it does pay to be a little flexible so it just um, but um I will, you know, I will keep you guys updated because when, uh, believe me, believe me, when I uh, when I get around to getting this book published, it's pretty much all I'm going to talk about to anybody who will fucking listen uh, <laughs> because I, I really, I want it to do well. I want people to, in, to enjoy it. I, I have no delusions about ending up on any bestsellers list. It's not a, it's not so much a creative endeavor. It's a, it's a collection of true stories from, you know, my time in security. If you, if you've been with me 
um, for a long time, you'll remember there were videos, you know, back in the day where you could see that I was in a gray uniform of sorts. Um, I was always very careful to keep the patches of the company that I worked for and whatnot out of the videos. But, um, and it's, it's just, the book is full of stories from my time with that company in that industry. I actually, you know, calling, you know, the book is entitled, uh, the main title is, you know, Adventures in Gray Polyester. You know, and like I said, volume one is written, volume two I'm working on. And, uh, you know, I have, I have seven volumes planned. I, um, yeah, it's, it's something else. I'm, uh, I always wanted to work in a creative field. I've been telling, I've been telling stories, you know, writing songs, writing poetry for as long as I can remember. I've always had the quote unquote creative bug. Unfortunately, as of yet, there's really been no monetary gain for my creativity. But you know, if you if you're a creative person, you understand that if you don't, if you do not have that creative outlet, it really, it really, it fucks with your head. Like it, it, it'll it'll really run you down. Um, and so I just I I just try and scratch those creative itches, you know, whenever I can. And if I could make a few bucks off it one day, I, I, you know, I would not be unhappy about that. I don't, like, I don't have any delusions that I'm going to be able to, you know, quit my job and make that my, you know, make creativity my full-time uh, vocation. More than anything else, I just would like to have a published book that I can, you know, it'd be really cool to be able to go to my bookshelf and see my name on there. You know, I'm a published author. That'll feel really good. imagine it will <laughs> oh, I was not expecting to do all that um, anywho I'll check in with you all later Well, it warmed up on me. Now my windows are closed and the AC is on. <sighs> Seems I may be here for a while. This one is involved.
did a new film review. You can find that over in the film reviews playlist. You feel free to check that out. So, yeah. uh, it's a Monday. I ain't got much right now. <laughs>
can't put any bat in the toy bar. Ladies and gents, is going to do it for today. Um, and hey, you know what? If you watch this and you enjoyed this, you know, like the video. Uh, but more, even more importantly than that, check out some of the other videos on my channel. I've got a, um, I've got quite a divert, a diverse selection of content. You know, from my from my uh, gameplay videos to, you know, some of my more historical or political stuff, and not to mention the entire, uh, you know, Carnage Camp Fire-esque um, storylines there, and the Adventures in Grey Polyester uh, playlist, which that is gonna be, uh, you know, th those stories are gonna be uh, limited you know, uh, eventually those will uh, no, no longer be for viewing as I get closer to actually putting out my book. Um, but yeah, just check out some of the other stuff on my channel. It's, um, you know, we're very, we have a, a diverse collection of content here at Carnage Corner. And I like to think we've got something for everybody. But, uh, you know, you won't know unless... You check out what I got. So, um, by, you know, by all means, scroll through the rest of the channel. If you find something you like, don't be afraid to give me a follow. And, uh, I mean, the videos are going to keep coming. So, if you find something you like, you know, hit the notification bell. And you'll know when it comes up. Until next time, I'm Ken Carnage. Carnage, it's right around the corner.